I swear I hear a horse approaching. Right on the road. <laughs> Make a video talking about how I started out as a nobody and became slightly less of a nobody. I wonder as harmful as running the propane tank inside the car can be. Maybe it also can be helpful too. I could roll up all the windows shut seal the car up and then turn the propane on and and light it and then step out for a little bit and if there's any bugs any mosquitoes in here they're gonna feel the nasty effects of the propane as well maybe i could kill them off all right i'm not sure what to think of uh, potatoes exactly but they they definitely take away tooth pain all right but the side effect is that my gut feels like it's always full and distended. I've never had such a distended gut before. Uh, but potatoes also might uh, seem to protect the skin from sunburn a little bit, taking away the, the pain that I get from sunburn. Like my lips are not even... they're not even chapped. And they would be chapped, especially after yesterday. Maybe I need to give them. Maybe I need to give the sun more time. I was out in the sun quite a bit, and this morning I feel okay. I think normally I'd feel a lot worse, but the I think the potatoes offer some kind of protection. They protect the teeth. Maybe it's also the skin too. I never really noticed uh, all these rocks that are plastered in between each other to support the mill. It's the same for that one too. All right, so the most dangerous part of cooking with my uh, hood down in the back like this is is probably the gas. I just don't want to be sitting in my car. It could be a problem where somebody could forget that they're actually cooking in the back of their car. It's just be like, hmm, you know, I just want to sit down and then start passing out. This is a setup that I'm a little more happy with because I got stability with the wires attached to the milk cart, milk crate, and when it's too cold, I can close the the hatchback. Problem is, I can't cook while I'm sitting inside, and there's going to be places where it'll look really bad for me to just hang outside my car, like in a Walmart parking lot. So I absolutely need to find somewhere that I could park and hang outside the car. But when it's like zero degrees and I want to cook, it's not going to be easy because hanging outside in that weather is much, very, very uncomfortable as opposed to sitting inside. If I think about it, each piece of equipment that I got for, for cooking came from a different location. I got the milk crate in one location, the wiring in another, the top that is screw on to the propane, I got that in another location, this pot in another location. It's kind of it's kind of interesting how it all fits together um, when I bought them all from different locations. And I, I did go through other other options that I didn't like so much, but I'm actually happy with this one right now. I know I've been here before, but I just can't quite remember it. I remember this being type pretty pretty modern looking when I came. This is a library and city hall. Future Farm Expo. The future of farming. Yeah, it says library down there. I took my chances the last time 
parking overnight in this parking lot right, right across the street and I didn't get bothered and maybe it's not that big of a deal but it's not something I'd be so quick to do now after all the training from the wonderful cops no trespassing they have some problems with the trespassing at the city hall library all right, I find this extremely amusing. Umatilla, my, my iPad still remembers the Umatilla password from like two, two, maybe three years ago. I forget how long, two and a half years ago. They haven't changed it because I was able to log back on to their secure network. This is the other side of the professional building. It's been shut down a long time. F Street and 7th. I've seen these little signs a few places on the baseball parks. They seem to be um, placed in targeted, targeted uh, places since they're not everywhere. Maybe when the problem comes up, they put the sign up. But maybe some people take the initiative and just put the sign up in advance of, to try to stave off any problems. Just because there's intellectuals who know Spanish as their secondary language and talk amongst about it amongst each other doesn't mean that Spanish is a cultured language, okay? It's a primary language for the Mexicans, and not all of them are cultured. So there's going to be a bias for English speakers who learn Spanish, especially the upper class, and they'll get that perception that they practice it with each other but actually getting into a mexican community where it's their primary language you find out that it's not such a cultured language kill for a chicken right now let me make note that fred meyer has notorious for crossing the automatic doors with the pull doors you enter through automatic there and then you got to pull here I'm inclined to say this is a typical washington road where they build the sidewalks too close to the road make the roads too narrow so you get and then they, and then they allow the cars to drive as you know up to 45 miles <laughs> And now we're walking, driving past the sidewalks so close. <clears throat> For this guy, survivors will be shot. <clears throat> the bicycle wheel for their gate. Never seen that before. Makes sense, so you could do that. Graveyards use a fence, but these guys don't. Looks like they had something though, at one time, using the basalt and cementing it together. But I could just make this my shortcut. Well, my battery's actually dying here. I actually should charge it. Ice Harbor. Alright. Alright, this is not an Indian art salmon. Alright, this looks to be a warning for the boaters. Alright, these are the first animals that might be able to read. Look at that, you got waterfall habitat. And then... The waterfall nearby they know how to read the columbia is moving plenty fast
That's a good speed. All right, I believe this is the Reach Museum. And they seem to have a lot of swallows. Making all kinds of noise. It looks very modern. So it's all around, it's it's just this museum, I guess. There's a woodchuck, a less, and then some quail. <laughs> oh. This is a museum? They don't really have much on display. They've spent all their money on trying to make it look like a modern bu building. Okay, here's all the business. Or no, these are all the, <laughs> these, this is all the donors. This is the biggest version of this type of pipe, the wooden pipe I've ever seen. They have an explanation. Wow. And that might be it. It's like a barrel. You know, they would call it a museum if it was. This is the Reach. That'd be red. They don't bother really. They call it the Reach Museum, but how much of it is the museum? Closed? $10 admission. And then there's some kind of a farm display here. Because the uh, irrigation is incredible. This is like for a major farm. And then they got the old, uh, whatever, the airstreams on display. I'll circle around this first. Looks like they got little kids riding around in a circle on this thing. With these cart things. And then they got to obey. No smoking on it. Obey the traffic. Pre-K area donors. Okay, speed limit is 25. Wow. That's very generous. Oh. I just all right and then they got displays you could you could, I could actually go inside right now unless they have the door locked all right Alright, I tried the door and it's like, they glued it tight. It's not even locked. I think it's just, I don't think anybody lives here. It's only for outside display. And these are almost re that that's ready to eat. The service berry? Hmm. No sweetness to it. Yeah, I picked the the red a little too long. Too uh, it's too early. This purple now. This has got to be good. Mmm. It's got a. It's got a pretty good taste to it. It's more the the texture. I don't know what this display is. They probably explain it.
looking inside the old bus. See what all I can pick up. Get all the switches. I'm not sure if Hanford is a local place. Alright, so about 50 years after Lewis and Clark came through here, they made the first government trail. It only took two generations. Okay, I don't know how much that's readable. <laughs> 